this nigga You gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it Boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable Now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville But I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street And then dance all on top of you And I do what I gotta do to make a die Top of the afternoon, everybody. On this glorious Friday, it's Juma Friday. This is like, you know, the most, this is like a good day for the Muslims. Every day is a great day, you know, but Friday is like a great day for the Muslims. And um, Saturday is the Jewish day, and Sunday is the Christian day, right? But anyway, today I feel inspired to tell y'all a, 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 a story an experience I went through in life. So, in 1997, I'm in Green Correctional Facility. At this time, I'm in G1. G1 was like a notorious dorm. That was like the worst dorm on the compound. And the reason why the um, G1 was the worst dorm on the compound in Green, because you had the West Indians, right? Um, it was like 15 West Indian niggas. You had the West Indian clique. You had the Muslims in there. And you had a few other people. Shay Davis was in that dorm. Shay Davis was neutral. My man Don J. Um, Don Dre from um, Mount Vernon. He was Nubian. His partner was Dark Low from the Low Lives out of Brooklyn. I'm um, Dark Low. I think Dark Low was um, Nubian too. Um... Shay Davis was double bunk with AJ, the model AJ that was in the Little Mo video. AJ out of Grand Projects. Um, it was a few other dudes in there. My man AD, Spanish AD from Harlem, from east side of Harlem, Spanish Harlem. He used to run with Hootie, Hootie and all of them from out of Spanish Harlem. AD had wound up, com wound up converting and turning Muslim later on. And then I think that only lasted for like two or three years. And then he went somewhere else and stopped being, stopped being, stopped being or whatever. But anyway, um, it was a Muslim, it was a young Spanish Muslim kid that came in the dorm. A young Spanish Muslim kid that came in our dorm. And you could tell the young kid was real timid. He was passive, right? The, the same time the young Muslim kid came in the door, I mean, came in our dorm. A uh, old timer had came in our dorm, right? So mind you, you know, green is an adolescent medium. There's adults in there though, but it was like 80% young niggas. So the old timer came in the dorm at the same time as the young kid. I guess they was on the bus together. They got drafted. They came from somewhere, or whatever, together, right? Anyway, G1 is loaded with radical Muslims, right? Now, there's a difference between a renegade Muslim and a radical Muslim. In Islam, a, rene a radical, I mean, a renegade Muslim falls under a fasikun. A fasikun is a rebellious Muslim, right? A radical Muslim still listens. He's just wow. He's like on warrior time. He's uncontrollable. He just get crazy. But he's still for Islam, the radical one. A renegade Muslim don't listen to nobody and he just gonna try to do what he want when he want whenever right he, he's like a deviant he's like a deviant so anyway G1 is loaded with radical Muslims it's me at this time I'm going by my nickname my jail name man child man child the merciful and reason why the, where the merciful come from because my Islamic name is Sheikh Hadid Abdur Rahim that means I and Sheik servant of the mercy. So I went by man child, right? My, my nickname. At the time. Um, we got Amin there. Amin real name is James Utley. Amin already had like 16 in then. And this was in 9-7. Amin get busy. Amin box and do martial arts. And you have my Muslim brother Taha. His real name was Taha Wong. W-O-N-G. Taha um, is Guyanese, of Guyanese descent, and I think he had Chinese in his family. That's why his last name was Wong. Because, you know, the Chinese went to South America to build railroad tracks and stuff like that. 
But Taha was very conscious and he was militant minded. So the food chain was, I mean, was like the head of security, the, the big dog. It was Taha, like Taha was like the intellectual advisor. But Taha's a warrior too, mind you, he know martial arts and everything. You have my Muslim brother, Niji Akbar. <clears throat> Niji Akbar knew martial arts too. He was trained by Taha and I mean, and he was trained by a few other Muslim brothers that was there. We'll get into that later on. Um, Niji Akbar eventually converted and churned blood like a few gels later. But anyway, um, my Muslim brother Steph was there from Harlem, from St. Nick. Steph was real fast. He played a lot of basketball. He was athletic. Steph was real quick and fast. And, um, and he was cut up. Ugly Harlem nigga. And Steph was real loud, you know, real rambunctious. But anyway, so a few weeks go by and the young Muslim brother that came in with the old timer, I don't even think it was a few weeks, it probably was two weeks maximum. The the, the young Muslim is moving funny in the dorm, like he acting like he's scared and he's timid. You know, he's, he's acting like something is wrong. So the Muslims, you know, we picking up on this shit the whole time. He like, yo, little op, what's up? Like, you all right? You all right? So he like, yeah, I'm good, brother. Boom, boom, boom. But mind you, what it is is the whole time, the old time is a booty bandit. So the old time must have fake put pressure on the young kid. Mind you, the young kid is a new Shahada. Where, that, where he took a Shahada and wherever he was at before he came to green. So the young dude is he's intimidated. He's scared. You know, the old timer probably told him, Yo, you tell anybody, you know, I'm, I'm coming on to you or whatever, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna stab you. I'm, you know, typical jail shit, trying to implant fear in him. So, you know, we watching, we observing, the Muslims is investigating. You know what I'm saying? And we analyzing shit like, yo, something ain't something ain't right with the old timer and then the young op. The young op is acting scared. So anyway. One day, um, I mean, wake me up, yo, Iron Sheep. Child is mandatory today. We all going to dinner. Child is mandatory. I was at 5 o'clock, five, like 5.30. But sometimes I wouldn't go to child. I, I'd be in my cube reading. I'd go to sleep. You know, I had food in my locker. Child is mandatory. So when we go to child, the whole G1 force, the whole G force, all the Muslims in G1, niggas is vibing on the walkway. Like, listen, man, the old timer is doing some homo shit. With the young Ock. He's trying to pressure the young Ock. The old timer niggas, a booty bandit or something. We gonna pack the old timer the fuck up. We gonna pack this nigga up. We getting him out of here. We gonna tear him up. So we like, all right, everybody with it. The whole G1. Everybody in G1 get busy. All the Muslims. Niggas is radical. We like, yeah, we gonna pack this nigga the fuck up. Anyway. So now the green light is on. You know, dudes went to their stash spots. Niggas got their... You know, they different utensils and all that. So I think a day or two more go by. We sees the old timer coming out the young nigga cube. Like the lights cut off at 11 o'clock. So we see, we hear like little, little shit going on. We see the old timer crawling out the young boy cube. Crawling back into his cube. So niggas peeped, they're like, oh, this nigga doing some funny shit. So anyway, later on that night, he comes back in the young dude cube. But he's like, they laying, like he's laying down inside the young dude cube. Like we can't really see, but he's in the young Muslim brother cube. We don't really know what happened. We don't know if some sexual assault or whatever transpired. But this is our inclination. You know, this is what we perceived and this was how the young kid was acting like he was being touched. He wasn't raped or nothing, but the old timer was touching him, probably filling up on him, touching his dick and all that. Long story short, the old timer go in the bathroom. I guess to wash off and wipe off. I don't know what the fuck he went to do. He nutted up. I don't know. When that old timer came back into that dorm, boom. You hear noise. You hear lockers going crazy. 
You hear the nigga scream, oh, man, I'm sorry. Niggas is poking this nigga to death. Niggas is stabbing this nigga to fuck up. We niggas is working him. I'm talking about American me type style. Niggas is working him. Me, I take no claim for this movie. I don't claim people movies. I don't, you know, I got my own movies. I don't I don't force claim. So I wasn't one of the individuals poking them, but I was on guard making sure no interceptions happen, meaning nobody interfere, nobody try to break it up. I'm making sure the CEO don't try to pull up and everything. Because one thing about Green, niggas was knocking police out and all that. Niggas was wild. Them young niggas, we was wild. We was young niggas, we was wild. Everybody was on go time, right? So I'm on stand, but you know, I'm on guard making sure no interference happened. They poked that nigga the fuck up. You hear red dot, red dot, me, 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 red dot, red dot. When you hear red dot, hold on, let me walk past this bullshit store. Playing this loud ass shit, hold on. But if you want your dental visit to feel like this, try Crescent This is the store the ladies love, Romantic Depot. The ladies love that store. They get all their dildos and butterflies and roses and all that from there. Anyway, so you hear red dot, me, 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 red dot, red dot, red dot, G1 doing. So you see all the police, they coming, they running, the COs, they running. They rushing to the door. The CO turned all the lights on. By the time the CO turned all the lights on, everybody back in a cube, weapons is gone. They locks the dorm down. Yo, the whole dorm locked down. Nobody go to chow. Y'all on lockdown, everybody play their bunks. The CO's coming. They go on cube to cube. They looking at dudes' hands. They looking for blood. They searching to see if, like, dudes' knuckles have inflammation. You know, because when you fight and you beat the nigga up, their hands swell up sometime. You know, different stuff. So, you know, they just checking. They checking everything. They checking to see, um... Who got blood on them or whatever, whatever. Who got scars on them or whatever. The old timers poked up. They carried that nigga out on a stretcher. We locked down for like a week. We locked down for like a week. Eventually, they come in the house. They locks Taha up. They locks Amin up. And what I mean by locked up, I don't mean go to the box. Like they locked them up. Like niggas caught a new charge, right? They locks Taha up, they locks Amin up. And I think they lock one more brother up. I can't remember which brother. So the rest of us, we still in the dorm on lockdown. We drilling, we drilling the young Muslim brother, Shorty Ak. What happened? Like, you know, what's up? Like, well, the young nigga scared. Shorty signs in the PC. And then tried to fake tell on Amin and Taha like yeah the little nigga like flip like tried to rat and jam niggas up long story short right Allah works in his way Taha and Amin beats the shit they don't find no probable cause or nothing Taha and Amin beats the shit but they gives them mad box time for the authentication they give all of us box time you know what I'm saying? They just locked all the Muslims up. Gave all of us box time. When I came out the box, I wound up going to D-Dorm. I think, yeah, they sent me to D-Dorm. That's when I ran into my man P.I., young nigga named P.I. from Queens, chinky eye, brawlic nigga. P.I., my man uh, Mac, Big Mac from uh, Marble Hill, and it was a few other dudes. But... It was crazy, you know, that incident was crazy because, you know, the old timers, you know, niggas come in green and you thinking that it's a kid gel and it's sweet, but niggas is active and a lot of the young niggas was in shape, you know, since DFY and other gels and everything, but you never know who's who. Underestimation is the greatest defeat, so never underestimate your opponent because you don't know your opponent capabilities. Never go in a comfortable environment or a relaxed environment and think you can wow out and it don't be no repercussions. So the old time I had got fried.
That's part one of one of my experiences in Green Correctional Facility. I am oxygen.